boys and girls. Welcome to the Friendly Frog Treehouse. My name is Miss Veronica. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody have a seat, my friends. Thank you for being responsible. Today in the treehouse, we're going to read a story called, I Am Not Sleepy and I Will Not Go to Bed. This is the title of the story. The author's name is Lauren Child. She wrote the words. And she also is the illustrator. She drew the picture. This little girl here name is Charlie. <laughs> I know sometimes we don't want to go to sleep, but boys and girls, it's the responsible thing to do. Help me turn the page. Remember to use your muscles. Mm -hmm. I am not sleepy and I will not go to bed. Wow, that's kind of a red choice, boys and girls, because when your mom or dad asks you to go to bed, it's time to go to bed. That's how we show that we are responsible enough to follow directions. We are safe taking care of our bodies to make it big and strong. Yep, and we are respectful when we listen to our parents' words. That's how God wants us to be. Safe, responsible, and respectful. Can you help me turn the page? Mm -mm. All right, let's get started with our story. I have this little sister. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to try and get her off the bed. This is a hard job because Lola likes to stay up late. Turn the page. Mm -mm. Lola likes to stay up coloring and scribbling and sticking and wiggling and bouncing and most of all, chattering. Chattering means talking a lot, boys and girls. You hear me go, mm -mm. that's me getting your help turning the pages. Mm -mm. Mm, thank you, boys and girls. Usually, when I say, Lola, mom says it is time for bed, she says, no, I am not sleepy, and I will not go to bed. I say. Then I say, but all the birds have gone to sleep. She says, but I am not a bird, Charlie. Let me turn the page. Mm -hmm. But you must be slightly sleepy, Lola, I say. Lola says, I am not slightly sleepy at six or seven, or eight, and I am still wide awake at nine, and not at all tired at 10, 11, or 12, and I will probably still be perky at 11, and even 13 o'clock in the morning. Lola says she never gets tired. One night I said, but if there's no bedtime, there can be no bedtime drink. And it's pink milk tonight. Lola really likes pink milk. Are you sure you don't want to go to bed? But Charlie, Lola says, if I have pink milk, the tigers will want pink milk too. Tigers, I ask. What tigers? The tigers at the table. 
They are waiting for their bedtime drink. Tigers get very cross if they have to wait. Hmm. So I made pink milk for Lola and the three tigers. Mm -hmm. Then I say, let's go and brush our teeth. So Lola says, but Charlie, I can't brush my teeth because somebody is using my toothbrush. <laughs> but who would use your toothbrush? I ask. Lola says, I think it's the lion. I saw a lion with my toothbrush and now he's, he's brushing his teeth. Teeth with it. But is this your toothbrush, Lola? I asked. Oh, says Lola. He must be using yours. Oh. Mm. So Lola and one lion brush their teeth. Then they say, you have to take a bath. You look a little bit grungy and grubby. Who says, says Lola. Mom does. I say, she's coming to check in one minute. And then what do you think Lola says? But Charlie, I can't have a bath because of the whales. What whales? I asked, looking around. The whales swimming in the bathtub. They're taking up all the room, she says. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I asked. Maybe you will have to help me. Shoo one of them down the drain, says Lola. So I help Lola shoo one whale down the drain. Boys and girls, I have a question. Do you think there are really whales in the bathtub? No, you're right. Lola just doesn't want to go to bed today. I think Lola should make a green choice and go to bed. What do you think? You do? Let's find out what Lola thinks she should do. Help me turn the page. Whoa, I hear them being flushed down the drain now. And then Lola hope hops into the tub. Mm -hmm. Now, Lola, I say, where are your pajamas? I don't have any pajamas, Charlie, she says. I say, what about these under your pillow? Those are not my pajamas, says Lola, shaking her head. Oh, no, those pajamas belong to two dancing dogs. Well, do you think they would let you just borrow their pajamas? I ask. Maybe, says Lola. But you will have to call them on the telephone and ask. Boys and girls, do you really think there are animals that wear pajamas? Hmm? Or do you think Lola is being silly and making a funny? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and find out what's going to happen. Maybe 
think she's going to give him a call. What do you think? Help me turn the page. <clears throat> and off I go to call the two dancing dogs. They say the pajama suit. You better than them. You can wear them whenever you'd like. What are they saying? Lola asked. That's nice of them, she said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Lola gets into her pajamas. At last, Lola is ready for bed. And I say, now, Lola, I have given you three tigers their pink milk and watched a lion use my toothbrush and shoot one whale down the drain and telephone two dancing dogs about pajamas. Now, will you please hop into bed? Lola says, yes, yes, Charlie, I'm hopping, I'm hopping. Boys and girls, I have a question. Do you think Lola's going to go to bed? Raise your hand if you think she needs to make a green choice and be safe, responsible, and respectful to her big sister. Yeah, my hand's up too, boys and girls. Sometimes we have to go to bed even if we don't feel like it because we need to make our bodies strong by resting so they can be strong in the morning and heal themselves. Let's find out what Lola does. Mm -hmm. But Charlie, says Lola, oh, don't tell me, I say. I bet I can guess. There's a huge hippopotamus in your bed and you... And do you want, do you know what Lola said? <laughs> Don't be silly, Charlie. I wouldn't let a hippopotamus into my bed. But I think there's one in yours, says Lola, as she snuggled under her covers. Good night, Charlie. Good night, hippopotamus. Good night, Lola. <gasps> Boys and girls, do you think there's really a hippopotamus under her sister's bed? No. But what's one thing, a green thing we can do if we have bad dreams? Like hippopotamus being under a bed. We can say, bad dreams, bad dreams, go away. Good dreams, good dreams, here to stay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to the treehouse with me. I really enjoyed reading the story with you. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, be safe, responsible, and respectful to your family.